Hi, Steve Brown. It's really good to be with you again today. When I say the word inheritance, what comes to mind? You might think, oh, I can't wait to get my inheritance. I got a lot of money coming. Uh, you might think, you know what? I don't, I don't think about inheritance. Don't care about it because I'm not going to get anything. Um, you might think about controversy or conflict. You know, there have been a lot of that over the years with families where big inheritances were fought over. There's been movies made and, uh, you know, miniseries written about that conflict that happens. And so, unfortunately, that's sometimes what you think of when you think of inheritance. You know, for Patty and I growing up, we didn't think about it a lot. Our dads were both full-time ministers. Uh, they loved what they did. They spent a lifetime doing it. They were good at it, but there wasn't a lot of money in it. And so there wasn't really the ability to sort of build any material, uh, you know, wealth that could be passed on through the generations. Our families, neither of our families really came from money. So for Patty and I growing up, it wasn't a thing. And not until we sort of, you know, got together, started building a life together after we were married, did we start thinking about what that might mean for us and our future generations. And I'll mention that here at the end. But God's word does have something to say about inheritance. So let me read that for you. 1 Peter 1, 3 through 5 says, The hope of eternal life, all praise to God the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ. It is by his great mercy that we have been born again, because God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Now we live with great expectation, and we have a priceless inheritance, an inheritance that is kept in heaven for you, pure and undefiled, beyond the reach of change and decay. And through your faith, God is protecting you by his power until you receive this salvation, which is ready to be revealed on the last day. We have an incredible inheritance, a valuable, priceless inheritance waiting for us in the form of salvation and eternal life with God the Father. Uh, when you think about inheritance, there's a couple of things that come to mind. First is sacrifice. Uh, typically, there is a sacrifice that must be paid in order to ultimately give the type of inheritance that we're talking about. Obviously, God made the ultimate sacrifice by sending Christ here on earth to become a man, to live and to die on the cross so that our sins can be forgiven and that we can have access to God the Father and this incredible inheritance that's to come. You also have to receive the gift, and, and uh, as Christians, we know that and have received that gift and, and are looking forward to it, anticipating that inheritance, and those that aren't Christians simply need to receive the love and the grace and the mercy that, that God has for you through Jesus Christ in order to receive this wonderful inheritance. Also, inheritance is not just about money. I mean, you know, you are leaving something to your children if you have children, to those that are most important to you if you don't. You're leaving something. It could be uh, the legacy of the attitude that you've had. Uh, it could be the legacy of commitment. It could be lots of different things, the way you think, who you are, what you've done with your life. Uh, and it also could include material possessions, but all of us do leave something. And hopefully it's of great value to those that receive that gift or that inheritance. So uh, I want you to go away from this morning thinking about uh, two things. Number one, the incredible inheritance that we have uh, as Christians and uh, look forward to it. Be thankful for it. Uh, wait with anticipation. Peter says again, uh, with great expectation, we have a priceless inheritance, an inheritance that is kept in heaven for us, pure and undefiled. It is locked in, guys. We've got it. And then also think about the inheritance that you're going to be leaving, whether it's material possessions or other things that you're going to pass on of value to those that you care about most. Let me pray for you. Father God, I love you. We love you. Thank you for this incredible word today that we have an inheritance that surpasses all, uh, an inheritance of salvation and the opportunity to spend eternity with God the Father. And then also, Lord, I pray that we will leave something of great value, whether it's material possessions or not, that we would leave something of great value to those that are most important to us. We love you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, we have an inheritance. Look forward to it. Look forward to seeing you next time.